What is the difference between Buffo from a Toad and the synthetic 5MEO DMT? There are usually two very clear camps. One that says the real thing comes from the Toad and the other people who say do not hurt the Toad, the differences are marginal. So which side is correct? And which camp do you fall into? Let us know in the comments. We are Purchase Supplies. We have regular talks on this subject with our community, which you can join for free on our website. We also co-create beautiful premium products that support your use of psychedelics in a respectful, safe and high quality way. I highly recommend watching my other video first, which covers all the basics on 5-MeO-DMT, its history and how it compares to NN-DMT. If you already know this, let's dive into the conclusion about Bufo versus 5-MeO-DMT. So we are not researchers, but from our limited online research, we found out that the venom of the toad contains about 15% of 5-MeO-DMT as well as 5-HO-DMT which is commonly known as bufotenine. Many people will argue that taking the venom from the Colorado River toad is ethically incorrect and puts a threat to their existence. Although there are techniques that some people describe that harvest the venom in a humane way, people we personally look up to, like the researcher Hamilton Morris, believe that there is no way to collect the venom without putting the toad under stress. Synthetic 5-MeO is that which comes from a lab. It's pure, it's a very sustainable way of obtaining 5-MeO, as making one large pool can easily supply thousands of doses compared to toad venom that can supply only 4 to 12 doses per toad. So there are those who still swear that taking the excrement from the real toad is the main way to have this pure spiritual experience, but is there any truth to this? And this is our opinion part, because unfortunately there is no clear scientific data to compare the two experiences, and personally this sounds quite difficult to research. They are so difficult to compare because most of the psychedelic journey is heavily influenced by your set and setting. How are you? Where do you do it? With who do you do it? How much did you take? From a chemical composition, there is an indication that the trip can be different because of the alternative compounds found in the toad venom. Yet those who take the chemical 5-MeO-DMT pride themselves in not hurting from an ethical perspective, the toad, and still having this radical experience that can lead to huge insights and personal growth. We do know from anecdotal reports that people who used the synthetic version of 5-MeO-DMT did have an experience somehow, this sounds some, to some people very vague, with a spiritual toad entity. So this is not exclusive to the people who take the toad venom. We believe that it's valuable to trust the research and be ethical, but also to respect ancient psychedelic tradition. However, for 5-MeO-DMT there is no conclusive historical evidence for the indigenous use of the toads for their psychoactive properties. We lean more towards the synthetic 5-MeO variant, which is from an ethical standpoint, a spiritual standpoint, and debatably also from a scientific standpoint, the best road to take. One does not hurt the animal, so that it's preserved instead of hunted, and the experience is pure from any harm. And this is a question you might have to ask yourself. Do you want to do something that is as natural as possible, taking it straight from nature, or do you find this dubious? And would you feel bad knowing that you have put an animal under stress and you're going to have a psychedelic experience based on that? What is your experience with this? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, click like, maybe even subscribe because it helps the algorithms and us to make more content for you. We are building a community that aims to build respectful tools and guides for sacred use of psychedelics. Follow us on PorcheSupplies.com and subscribe for our newsletter. See you in the next video. Safe travels.